Let's watch the second semi-final in the GP3 Strive and Friends vs. Score Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studio. So we are going to see Nomad365 play vs. Uh, Marco aka NoSpan22, both were uh, using the classic counter-puncher lineup, well, at least in the old Challenger Tournament format, which was played in Cup in 9. Now, Challenger tournaments are played in level 12 capping, so things are slightly different. Now, this level 9 capping is uh, set for junior tournaments. So, matches are played on 7 points because they are friendlies in this tournament. So, both players could use uh, the Punisher Gut, otherwise the stamina depletion would be so high that it's not possible to play on 10 points uh, with that string. In this tournament versus score, special strings were not allowed. We're going to see a uh, tournament versus uh, Vietnamese team soon, where special strings will be allowed. No matter 365 hit so many unforced errors in this uh, first match. Marco is uh, a volley specialist but he can play with uh, the counter puncher lineup as well. He's training much less with this style and tough. However, versus a counter puncher it is still good to use a counter puncher better than sub volley because if he uses uh, the sub volley style then no matter 65 will use a counter puncher lineup with the carbo load instead of keto sourcing giving to no matter 65 two strong hands and making the sub volley style a very hard for use style Wow, very nice comeback from the Matri 65, hitting winner after winner by the second part of this match. When he hold this break, no. Mako has broken back, and Mako is hitting very accurate shots by the end of this match. Nomad 365 is kind of paying for uh, the bad start of this match. And indeed, Marco is taking the lead in this uh, second semi final. The first one was played between Hitman 365 and Corsus. So both players were using the hammer, the forge, Hades threats, Keto sourcing, resistance band, and Koi. You are going to see the lineup by the end of this video. Both were using exactly the same cards and the same string. So it's basically the more experienced player or the more on good form player on the day they were playing this semi final will qualify for the final where he will face Hitman 365 who beat Corsus in the first semi-final. Nomad 265 could not anticipate this very strong shot. When Florence is hitting critical shot, it's very hard to return unless she is on the trajectory. Nomad 365 has adjusted his wipe and is much more accurate in the second match. The defensive shots are pretty good as well from Nomad 365. And it gives a much more pleasant match to watch.
Some very strong shots from the Matrix 6 5, but not so accurate. It's a bit the contrary of the first match when the Matrix 6 5 was starting badly and was playing better by the end. In the second match, he started well, and the second part was slightly worse in terms of accuracy. He will have to wake up because otherwise, Marco will not give him a chance to come back if Marco is leading 2 0. But no matter, 6 5 is a very experienced uh, counter puncher. He's surely not going to give up. Too bad for Marco. This last ball was a bit too wide, and it's a 1 1 score now. Let's watch the third match. Too bad for Nova 265. The defensive shot could not cross the net. That couldn't have been dangerous for Marco. A lot of the errors in this third match. The intensity is not the same. Yeah. A very broken match with a lot of mistakes from both players. You can notice that Nomad 265 doesn't hit cross court drop shots much. To conclude the point, he prefers big down the line shots. It's a bit more basic. Some would say, but it works well. So, why wouldn't he change? Four, three. A very strong shot there. The Matrix 6 5 seems Four. to find the accuracy again. Serve. And Mako, not yet like this shot has proven Marco is having some difficulty to find the target another down the line winner from Nomad 365 who is now leading 2-1 let's watch the fourth match Marco has to win this one to avoid being forced to uh, catch up what a fight very nice point there A lot of variety offered by both players. Finally, we are seeing a very entertaining match with a lot of accurate, strong shots. We couldn't see those high quality rallies in the three first matches. Some nice anticipation as well. Very pleasing to see winners instead of uh, unforced errors or forced errors. That one could.
could have landed and give Nova 365 a big edge. Yep, no cost of shot for Nova 365. Very nice winner and Noma 365 seems to be much stronger in that fourth match. He's now leading 3-1. Let's watch the fifth match. Now Mako has no more choice. He has to win this one to avoid being disqualified. Unfortunately for Marco, he starts with a double fold. No matter if I was anticipating a cross court drop shot or a cross court shot, but Marco was doing the same thing than Nomad 365 hitting a down the line shot on the previous point and Nomad 365 is much more inaccurate in this fifth match Marco has a real chance now that he is leading 4-1 in this fifth match. And if he didn't hit a double fault on the first serve, he couldn't have led even 4-0. Who knows? Anyway, he can still win this match 4-2. He's in good position, especially because Nomad 365 was a bit losing focus, I guess. So many outs. Unbelievable from Nomad 365. A very accurate player. Looks like Mako is going to come back to 3 2. Indeed, he has made it. He's slowly coming back. Nomad 365 has to pay attention now. Let's watch the sixth match. It will be either 4 2 for Nomad 365 or 3 3 in the semi final. Marco has finally seen this hitting pattern. From Nomad 365, he was waiting for the down the line shot of Nomad 365. But once again, what was happening there? Why didn't he keep trying to anticipate a, for a down the line winner? At this time, Matthew. The first name of Nomad 365 One, has seen that Marco could read the hitting pattern and change. He's a very smart player, Nomad 365. Oh no, he couldn't swipe there. Too bad. Too bad. Wouldn't that have an influence on his concentration? Looks like. But this is a very nice comeback in terms of concentration from Nomad 365. He hasn't given up. He's trying. It will be hard tough. 2 5. Not easy at all. Serve. We will see a perfect 3 3. And see a good suspense for the last seventh match. 
looks like Nomad 365 doesn't want that. He wants to nail it. Yeah, he's coming back. 5-5 five, five now. Wow. And he's even taking the lead. What a huge comeback from Nomad 365. Who has won the second semi final and who will face Hitman 365 in the final of the GP365 and Friends vs. Score tournament? You are seeing now the lineup of both players in this second semi final. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the second semi final play between Nomad 365 and Marco in the GP365 and Friends vs. Score tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of the tournament. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye!